Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, commonly known as ADHD, is characterized by developmentally inappropriate levels of inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity that impair a person's ability to function. People with ADHD often have difficulty following instructions, keeping things organized, and following through on tasks. They also tend to act without thinking, interrupt others, talk excessively, or feel fidgety or restless. ADHD begins in childhood. Many people continue to show symptoms as adults. It occurs in approximately 5 to 8% of school-aged children and adolescents and is more common in males than females. As a result of their symptoms, many with ADHD often have academic or employment problems and difficulties in their social interactions and relationships. ADHD often co-occurs with problems such as oppositional, defiant, or conduct disorder, learning disorders, and depression or anxiety disorders. ADHD appears to have a biological basis. For some people, it is an inherited condition. However, the specific cause of the disorder is not known. It is likely that multiple causes or contributing factors exist. The family environment does not cause ADHD, but it may affect the way symptoms are expressed, as well as help people manage their condition. No one test can determine whether someone has ADHD. Instead, assessment requires gathering information from several sources, such as parents, teachers, observations and testing across multiple domains, like home and school, using standardized measures. Assessment should also carefully consider other possible causes of ADHD symptoms, such as other disorders or stressors. A thorough assessment can be a complex process, but psychologists are well qualified to conduct such assessments. For most school-aged children and adolescents, the best treatment for ADHD is a combination of behavior therapy and medication. Behavior therapy is particularly important in addressing family stress and social behavior problems in individuals with ADHD and may help to prevent or treat other problems that can occur with ADHD. Different techniques are used and they focus on establishing clear behavioral expectations for the individual. Clear and consistent feedback regarding behavior is provided. This could include rewards and consequences. Behavior therapy can also include modeling, problem solving and skills training. For children, Therapy is often conducted both in the classroom and at home. For adolescents and adults, cognitive behavioral therapy focused on the person's self-management of their own behaviors may prove useful. More information regarding ADHD and effective treatments can be found at the following links.